Hey everybody, it's Pastor David. Welcome once again to another December devotional where we are taking a look at our Christmas tree, or at least the ornaments on the Christmas tree. You probably grew up with a tree just like this in the lobby of your own church, or maybe there's one in your church right now and you've always wanted to know a little bit more about it. Well, the word chrismon is a combination of two words. It's the word Christ and the word monogram. And so those two words come together to form the word chrismon. These monograms or symbols are all representations of various attributes or theology that we know about Jesus Christ. The very first chrismon tree was designed by Frances Kipps Spencer of the Ascension Lutheran Church in Danville, Virginia. And she created that in 1957. And it was her hope that she could decorate a tree for her church that would be more than just the standard snowflakes and uh, plastic Santa Claus ornaments. She wanted something that was more religious and something that better reflected her views about Jesus. So today we are gonna look at a very special ornament. This is the crown. And I suppose the crown has a double meaning for every believer. I think first on the Christmas tree, it reminds us that our Messiah is also our King and that Christmas is about the birth of our King. But also later in Jesus's life on the cross where he paid the ultimate price for each of us, our King wore a crown of thorns. You know, but the second thing I see when I see the crown is the crown that'll be given to each one of us, his believers. First Peter 5, 4 says, when our chief shepherd appears, you will receive the unfading crown of glory. Our king wears a crown because it is rightfully his to wear. But we also receive a crown because we are adopted into his royal family. Merry Christmas.